So obviously you've been teasing us on Twitter for the past five days, showing your absolute cannon oh, yeah. of a leg. I have been um, I was wondering if you were to ever go back to punting in the NFL, if you've thought about it. What would be the future plans for the Pat McAfee show? Great question. I don't know what I do in my third period math class. I got the renowned Pat. <laughs> ben, 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 Ben. You should be paying attention to that math class because honestly, that's the only class you're probably taking that'll be worth a single damn <laughs> twenty years from now. So maybe just watch a little bit later. But we appreciate you watching. For me, punting balls in the backyard. I'm not 100 percent sure what's going to happen. Honestly, I have no idea. Right now, I'm just trying to see if the legs are okay. I'm feeling much better than I felt a year ago. Whenever I was thinking about doing this, the legs feel good. The ball is flying. I think mentally I feel better. Right now, I'm just enjoying getting back into my sanctuary, which is just bombing balls. And I just so happen to be kicking the living uh, uh, it out of the balls right now, too. So that feels good. Do a couple places potentially need a punter that I have friends who are coaching there? Maybe. Detroit. Is, is that the <laughs> Detroit, by the way, is another place. A lot of people popping off in my comments last oh, night about the Lions needing a punter. Would be nice. Pittsburgh needs a punter. I mean, there's a lot of places that need a punter. Kansas City Chiefs are currently in the middle of an open trial for punter. I don't know if they take me, but there's a lot of places that potentially need a punter. I'm not 100% sure I'm going to make a comeback, but I'm giving it a go in the backyard just to see if I can make it. And also, I really enjoy doing it. So it's like, I would assume there's people that like to drive golf balls. So they go up and drive a golf ball with zero intent of ever becoming professional. They just like doing it for me, kicking and punting balls. My entire life has always been like what people probably feel at the driving range, getting back into that without the fear of getting hurt has been a lot of fun. I've been enjoying it, but the balls are flying very, very high right now. Very, very high. I did not expect it to be honest. I did not expect the consistency, but I think it's because I've had this idea of like, who knows what's going to happen. Let's enjoy this and work on some stuff. I don't know what's going to happen. This show will not end. I'm having too much fun with this show right now. Too much fun. Now, will that change? Maybe, but I'm having a lot. Of, <laughs> I'm having a lot of fun with this show right now. Balls are flying, and I've had a lot of people say, "Hey, let me come shack balls for you and stuff like that." I'm a weirdo about working out alone. I don't work. I don't like kicking balls at anybody else because it's like the driving range. I kind of just want to yeah, be by yeah, myself. Yeah, yeah. You should hear the Jeezy and I went to work last night. The uh, young Jeezy and I went to work last night. Good hour and a half sesh. Got a good sweat in. You know what I mean? Uh, my body was dripping. I had two abs. Really? Wow. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It was a big thing because you forget whenever you're punting, and I forgot. It's a super explosive exercise. The whole body is kind yeah. of getting a workout. Now, granted, if I wasn't as fat as I currently am, it'd be much better because my thigh keeps hitting my gut. But it's been a nice workout. It's been a nice getaway, and I've been enjoying it. But I'm not 100 percent sure what that was going to happen with it all. You think your uh, leg feels better this year because it's because it was more used to a punting form than versus kicking? No, because I was punting last year too. I think it was just, I did nothing for two years except for vitamins and hang out and stuff like that. And then this year now, it's like I've gotten back into it a little bit more before just, you know, wearing on it. Yeah, this is last week. This is like day two or whatever. I think that's a 5 0 ball, which, no big deal. Let's go ahead and jog it off and then <laughs> send one the oh, back, yeah. back the other direction. I had some scrub from the CFL trying to chirp me. <laughs> I won't even say his name. Hey, buddy. <laughs> I did. I, I I did think about it. I just I just said back to the way I respect the brand. That guy is is a good ball kicker. But he's still kicking balls with stripes on it for a reason. That video also doesn't do how big no. your backyard yeah, is. Yeah. 110 yards, yeah, by like the way. when you've been there and seen it. My backyard is 110 yards. It was a very, very important reason on why I bought the house. Now, granted, the house is so big, and I got it for so cheap. It, it makes zero sense. I, I have a Cribs house, and I'm a punter. Should not be living there. Only use three three rooms in the whole house. <laughs> you know? So I grew up in a, in a small house. I always wanted a big house. I bought the biggest house that I thought I could potentially get. Very cheap. I don't use any of it. Big waste of space, but it feels good to look at. And then when I saw the backyard and I saw it was 110 yards long, I was like, I'll take it. And I basically just took a uh, briefcase and just sat it down. <laughs> <laughs> said, this is mine now. Wow. <laughs> Stupid life I've lived. Those are good money investments, you know? Oh, yeah, yeah. yeah, houses are for Big sure. Time. That's what they say. You sell it now for more than you bought it for. Yeah, Probably it double depreciate. or triple. Yeah. There you go. Great investment. <laughs>